this is Jason Cappuccino, Sashes and Scripts. Yes. And gusto ko lang namin tanungin about, you know, um, day-to-day -day things. Uh, not so much of a pageant questions, but yeah, rather yeah. something to get to know you better. Yeah. Um, so, can you tell us something about yourself muna? Introduce yourself. Um, yeah. Who is MJ behind the title? Yes, I am MJ Ordiliano. I am going to be here this year's Mr. International Philippines 2022. And without me behind the title, just me at home, I think I am a kind, loving, and caring person who is very grateful to be in this world called Earth. So I'm very, very happy. And Adam being behind the scenes, I'm very, very happy to see him too. <laughs> Um, so MJ, um, yes. the first time that we met you, you were in the finals of the uh, Mr. International Philippines and you have a huge family in the crowd. Can you oh. tell us about the family dynamics? Um, was, how was it, uh, how was it competing with, you know, with, uh, with your family in the audience? Everyone in your family in the audience, including your yaya pa, nandun dun din sa yes. ano, kasama namin sa pila, uh, you know, uh, before going inside the venue. Dun, dun ang gagaling yung mga powers ko, dun, dun ko nako yung lakas, dun ko nako yung lakas ko. Just seeing them, a uh, huge family behind my back supporting me, it means the world to me. And I can't, and I just can't fathom how, how much of a big part that is for me to be in this stage right now. You know, at, at the end of the day, it, it starts with you. With your family and then with everybody behind me and for the Philippines you know and here I am representing the Philippines and I really plan to do my best to bring back that crown. So do you think that the fa your entire family will be here in the Philippines when the Mr. International competition is, is uh, being held here? I think I think a lot of my family and relatives are flying back actually. Just to support me for this competition because it's a once in a lifetime have uh, opportunity situation, you know, and they really want to all be here for that to support me. Of course, there's some who can't make it, but and obviously they're still supporting me from behind the scenes, from behind the laptop, the cap computers, right? But I, I'm very, very happy for them to actually just show any amount of support. It means the world to me, and it's just strength for me. So MJ, um, when we're talking to you, you have this Amboy accent. Um, so can you tell us where did it come from? Um, did you grow up in the States? Uh, yeah. Do you have uh, do, do you have um, American blood in you or, so, or whatnot? Yeah, I, I, I think it's just my second nature to speak English because I think it's a universal language. But now I'm Tagalog naman ako kung gusto ko. Pero for me, uh, I grew up in the States. I went there when I was fourth grade. And then I came back and forth to the Philippines every summer and I spoke Tagalog at home so I never lost touch with my Filipino language. But as soon as I got back here officially in the Philippines, I stayed in the U.S. for eight years. So that's kind of where the English accent came from. But I'm not Tagalog. Fourth grade is around what age? Fourth grade, I think it's about eight to nine years old. And then I came back around 16. 17 around around that age yeah but I fly back every year just to visit my family because that's a big part of me again so um, since we've done talking about your family uh, we want to know more about uh, your hobbies um, what are the things that interests you yes. so what kind of sports do you uh, do you play so I'll start with sports so sports I play a lot you know of course basketball is always there but then something that not a lot of people know about is that I actually play golf I actually wanted to play professional golf before when I was in the US I played in high school and I actually as a freshman I was the league MVP and I was able to compete. I wanted to play for college, but then life happened and I flew back here in the Philippines. Also, what interests me is music, just having to work out and being, having, having a healthy lifestyle really and spending time with family and friends. And yeah, that's it. So um, with, regards to your, uh, with regards to your preparation now for the Mr. International competition, we want to know if, um, have you already started, you know, um, uh, talking to designers, talking to um, key members of your glam team, um, in order for for you to build up your uh, your your competition wardrobe, your uh, pageant strategy. Yes, I think we are about 100% ready already. Right now, it's just fine tuning a lot of things and polishing with every aspect of my game and everything that I have to prepare for. Really, you know, pinaka importante. I think just being ready already, being confident, and by the time of competition day, we are very ready. We're not regretting anything now. So we're very, very excited to really showcase everything that I have in store for you guys. So be prepared and watch out. And we want, we want also to. <laughs> 
<laughs> Thank you, Tristan. <laughs> <laughs> Bye. Um, now I forgot what I'm going to ask. Uh, um, okay, so uh, I, I I wanna I wanna throw it back to the preparations, no? Because um, there is a part of pageant preparations, kung minsan na nakakalimutan ng mga candidates to incorporate their personality in their um, in their uh, in their strategy in in, in 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 their national costumes in their you know in their pageant prep. So, yes, yes. Um, what have you been doing in order for you? to be able to prepare for the pageant but still be true to you know who MJ really is as a person. Yeah, I think despite the busy schedule of course you're appointed to do a lot of things Shem, but, uh, there's a lot of times that you have to travel here doing be here for this, be doing this and also not forget that you have to work on everything but I think it's very important that's what I advocate for really is to kind of show yourself some self-respect and really have, be an advocate for self-help. I think being self-aware is very very important Take a moment, whatever it takes for you to be happy or just to be in the moment, in the present. Really just to breathe. Anything that helps you to be in the moment, to be in touch with yourself. Because if, if you're so busy with preparing and what, what are you doing, you have to enjoy the whole process and really know what you love to do and just be happy for the things that you're doing, you know? And just be in touch with yourself. Really. And um, let's get also to know you know um, the key people in your uh, in your in your uh, in your pageant preparation. So who is going to train you for your pasarela? For your uh, who is going to be the key people that will be helping you build your wardrobe? Uh, you know, if, 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 if it's uh, okay to talk about that, hmm, I think it's a surprise. I'd okay. say so. But you know, Mister International Philippines organization is very very hands on. So we are all working with a lot of great people behind this to really bring back that crown. And like I said, just watch out for October 30, and I'm sure you'll you guys will find out yeah, what will happen. Speaking of October 30, can you um, invite uh, Filipino pageant fans, the scripters community, yes, to you know? Um, support you in the upcoming competition yes thank you for watching all this way and for the scriptors community and for the filipino pageant community and for everybody who is watching i appreciate your full support and i would like to invite you all to watch me on the mr international stage this october 30 being held here in the philippines and please please, please thank you so much i appreciate you guys for your support news the world thank you mj thank you yeah. take care It's really important just really being a well-rounded individual. I mean, being a, having abs and being fit is just one of them. But as long as we are all mentally and physically, spiritually healthy, that's just the most important. Thing. Did you want us to? Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh. oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, yes. Yeah. Uh, I think obviously just being in touch with your emotions. We have this stigma as men, most of most of. Uh, Maybe in society, we have this stigma where we should keep our emotions to ourselves, and as men, we shouldn't show it to the public. But then I think it makes us human. I think we really have to share it amongst others so that we can be there for each other. I mean, that's just a very human industry trait that we can all share. And uh, regardless of what gender you are, I think it's very important so that you know you really have to tend to your emotions before it boils up and piles up to be chaos. You know? yeah, yeah. So, MJ, uh, since Mr. International is just uh, in a month or so, no? uh, it's happening in, in a month or so. So, yes. how are you going to show your competitiveness as the country's representative? And at the same time, uh, a friendly and hospitable host to the other international delegates. Sorry, can you repeat that again, sir? How are you going to show your competitiveness as the country's representative to the Mr. International pageant? And at the same time, a hospitable and friendly uh, host to the other delegates. You know, um, for this year's Mr. International, we are, I think, looking at seeing 40, 40 different countries. And me, and having to represent, being a host candidate for this year is just a, it's an honor. I'm very grateful, and for me to be able to just be the host candidate itself, it just brings joy to me. So once all the candidates come fly here, I would actually just love to just show my grades. And really, of course, the competitive will still, competitiveness will just still be there, but then we're all celebrating camaraderie, you know, brotherhood, 
just for that one goal, is to just really inspire others. And that's really just the main core of the whole competition, regardless of the positioning. But yeah, it's just our main goal is just to inspire everybody. The competitiveness will still be there, and we will all be brothers no matter what. So yeah, do my best to represent the Philippines. Hello guys, uh, I'm Jason Cappuccino of Sashish and Scripts. I just want to ask everyone your opinion on um, national and international pageants uh, on the female side have started removing the height requirements. Do you think that it's high time that the male pageant uh, industry would follow suit? Uh, Anyone can start to answer it. I can start first, yeah, sure. Um, I think, you know, the pageant industry has been here for the longest time, right? And I think as generations and generations, you know, people who handle the pageant industry or when, for example, you know, Mr. International being, having uh, Manuel De Leo be the first, uh, this is going to be the first inaugural Mr. International film is held by Mr. Manuel De Leo. I think, you know, it changes. It changes uh, due to the fact that, you know, especially for Miss Universe, if you were, you were aware of whatever has happened, you know, with it being... Uh, accepting pregnant women and now I think it's being normalized you know as long as the heads or people under it think that it's, it makes sense and also for me personally I feel like if you have other people who you, you don't have a higher requirement that that just opens a lot of doors for other people and you know I feel like there's people who don't fit the height requirement but the, at the same time they're very well-rounded individuals but you know if they do pursue that then I'm all for it so I, I really, I really, um, I want to promote that with everybody around the world because I think that's our purpose to inspire others, and that, that includes everybody.